Hi, this is Doug. I know, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama 5 Cast. Thanks for joining us today. We have a question from a caregiver that's mom's been staying home and she's wondering should we consider assisted living for mom? Okay, step number one <laughs> ask mom. Oh, gotta ask mom. I gotta ask mom. Oh. I would ask mom because if you if you do something that's against her wishes, she's if she's like my mom, my mom would have resented that and she would have just shut down, got real depressed. So no, have that discussion. And if mom's okay with it, the next step is do some research. How do you find a good assisted living facility? It's not that you're looking for the one closest to your house. You're looking for what is best for mom. So what is what do you look at to determine if it's a good fit? You know, one of the best ways, of course, you may Google assisted living facilities in my area and find you know, three or four or five of them. But one of the, after that, the best way is to physically drive out there. And if mom is interested in looking at them, take her with and do a tour. And, uh, you know, if you schedule them in advance, they'll probably even feed you lunch, you know. And that would be a good thing. You get to try out the food, right? Yes. Get yes. to try out the food, get to look around, get to make sure it is, you know, is, is this what you're thinking? Uh, you know, a, a lot of instances, it's much better than what she was thinking. You know, mm -hmm. mom may have a, a real skewed opinion. She may remember what they were like, you know, 30 years ago. And she may be pleasantly surprised that it looks nice, the food's good, there's a lot of socialization. I mean, some assisted livings have activities wow. directors, have a lot of stuff going on. You have a movie theater, have a chef, have a pool table, have a swimming pool. There's lots of things. Oh, a lot of them, lot not of them. just food, but they're chefs, like people really know how wow. to cook. I mean, so a lot of them have a lot going on, and a lot of people, once they get in there, really love it. But here's, here's a secret. There's huge differences between assisted living. Some of them, there's not much going on. It's basically just the place to stay. Some of them, it's like Club Med. There's like activities that's constant all day, every day. So what, uh, what is your parents' personality? Do they want a lot of uh, activity going on or, or not? And what, uh, what are they comfortable with? Do they want to be around other people? Do they want to engage in activities and have, you know, a lot of them have kids coming in, kids groups, and they go out. Some of them take bus tours to different places. So what do they like? So tour several of them. Uh, some, in some assisted livings, especially at level one, people ha even have their own car. Yeah. You know, and they can drive themselves, although they don't need to because a lot of them have a van. Yeah. Right? The facilities have vans to take you where you need to go. So how how do you know if it's if your loved one needs this level of care? Because this is the point where your loved one has declined and they may need help with a couple of activities of daily living, things that they used to do all the time. And here comes another C-130. <laughs> so we'll make this. We live close to the Air Force Base, <laughs> so we can't overtalk the C-130. Some of them have level one and level two which level two is just a little more care. So check out the assisted livings in your area and see if you can find the one that's a good fit for your parent. Thanks for watching, have a great day. And thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video. And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.